Hello everyone, my name is Elisal with TGN.TV and today I'm bringing you another shaman leveling video of our little series Percunus 1 through 85. If you haven't already seen the last episode, you can click on the screen right now and you'll be redirected. If you haven't seen any of the episodes at all, I recommend going back to the first Percunus video and watching the intro to that. In this video we'll be covering levels 50 to 55. We'll be going through the zone Searing Gorge, uh, the Burning Steps, Swamp of Sorrows, and the Blasted Lands. So we're in the Slag Pit today, the final area in the Searing Gorge, just before the Burning Steps. You're working with a Thorium Point, trying to attack the Dark Iron Dwarves, making them sleep deprived in this quest. Basically you have to sabotage them and kill their leaders, that's, that's about it. So I just got attacked by an angry mob of sleepy workers. I actually didn't know what I was going to go to do there, but uh, I laid down a uh, magma totem got the job done and we finished that quest up now pay attention here uh, this is gonna be pretty quick but this quest used to be really difficult to solo uh, where these these two used to be high level elites but there goes one Ray punted off the edge and uh, you just DPS down the other guy pretty easy uh, if you did notice already I am enhancement uh, a good chunk of my video was deleted last last time, so you couldn't actually see me switching to uh, from elemental to enhancement, but, but I did. And Lunk, his final quest made me hit level 51. Uh, great, great quest chains in the Searing Gorge, really easy. So if you're level 47 to 51, I recommend coming to this area. And actually, this will get you all the way to Outlands, just following these quests in these zones, because. They'll just keep working off each other. As you can see, I have to go to the Burning Steps. From the Burning Steps, they tell me go to Swamp of Sorrows. From the Swamp of Sorrows to the Blasted Lands, and from the Blasted Lands to Outlands. That's the way I'm working. There's, I was arguing with some guy in the comment section last time how he didn't understand why I was actually going to Outlands at 58. But what I've known and what I've been doing on all my characters and all my speedruns, and what I've been doing for years since Outland actually came out was that. Um, yes, they made the questing experience equivalent in maybe Winter Grass or something like that, but actually going from Eastern Kingdom's quest chains, moving all the way over to Winter Grass, where I can just take three steps and walk through the Dark Portal, uh, that's a pretty significant time waste that I would have to do. So, you know what, we're going to Hellfire Peninsula. We're probably going to hit level 64 in that area, so we're going to gain around six levels. So it's going to be really great. So I was just looking at this guy and I was like, I never seen him before. So I put my mouse cursor over him and yes, he was a rare elite, Volchan. And yeah, he was an elite. So most rares are just rares. But this guy was an actual elite. So I was a little skeptical to take him on solo, uh, but he wasn't difficult at all. I did have to heal a little bit. So a couple of healing surges uh, got the job done there. And he didn't drop anything nice, but he did give me 5,000 experience which is massive for my level like I'm only level 51 and getting 5,000 experience off of one mob is really significant just keep in mind I get around 300 experience per mob at this level unrested so imagine if I was rested killing that guy that would have been 10,000 experience insane absolutely insane but that was the most exciting thing that happened in the burning steps in all honesty I really didn't finish any of the quest chains. As soon as I hit level 52, I moved on to Swamp of Sorrows. For the sole purpose of there's a lot of really out of the way quests in the Burning Steps. It's a huge quest chain. I've done it before. I know what it is because it's a neutral zone. You have the same quests for Horde and Alliance. Uh, and until the end, uh, there's you have your own quest hubs, but they're basically the exact same quests. So I moved on to Swamp of Sorrows. So you have to make your disguise for the Burning Legion or whoever they are. The guys who are in Blackwing Descent. Sorry, I'm having a blank. brain drain right now. Uh, but anyway, you have to make your costume. Each class and race is different. So you're just going to have to keep messing around until you can figure out. He'll tell you what you made more of and what you need more of. An exam like You know what I mean. So it just takes a little bit of practice to actually get used to it. Uh, but once you actually make your little costume, you can put it on and you'll be friendly with the surrounding enemies, which is pretty easy to do because the quest chain uh, in this area is actually to sabotage uh, the enemies. So they're, they're mounting up for a really huge attack and uh, it really doesn't work out in their favor. So, Wow, 
These War Reavers are up there in my top 10 worst NPCs in the world. I don't know why, but they were not dropping what I need to get. I, I know they have a separate piece on the ground that drops out of their stomach or something like that where you have to collect these parts, but every single time I was collecting these parts was not dropping the thing I needed. And it wasn't the most rare piece. If you've done that quest before, you know you need some piston or something like that that's really rare. And it'll tell you when it drops that this is a really rare pick that you need to pick it up because you only need one of it. Well, I kept getting that instead of something I actually needed, so it was kind of weird. So, I don't have my postal add-on because this was right after the patch. So, I had to sell everything by hand and uh, it was actually quite nice because it was one of the only vendors I found in the Burning Steps. So, the newest way to travel is by rocket, so in the Burning Steps, to get a Swamp of Sorrows, just take the rocket, Horde, or Alliance, you're both allowed to use it, and uh, it basically gets you there pretty fast. It takes you around Red Ridge Mountains, and uh, right to the little goblin encampment there, as you can see on that little mini-map. It's actually called Bog Paddle, and uh, you get a nice, easy quest chains from that area. Nothing significant, just some kill quests, and that's about it. So it was really fun. You do have to pick up these landmines, though. So if you are doing these quests, whenever you're trying to collect the landmines, don't step directly on top of them. I don't know if they actually took that away or not, but they explode if you do, just like landmines. So kind of creep up to them a little bit. I got really close that last time, that last clip, but in fact it didn't blow up. But I, I believe they still blow up, so and they do a pretty decent chunk of damage, so you can die whenever you run into them. So whenever you're collecting them, just some uh, caution, so whenever you run through there, you don't have to face palm and get frustrated and actually just rage quit. It's kind of hard to do whenever you're just mindlessly grinding these quests out. Uh, so there we go, hit level 53 in the Swamp of Sorrows, putting my new talent in, trying to get that Searing Totem upgrade so it puts a, a dot on your target sets them ablaze deals damage over time and giblins gilblins god damn i hate these things they're the worst creation ever i think they're up there of gnolls for me war ravers are bad gnolls are number one it's up there of murlocs giblins oh they're just like chirping me and laughing at me the whole time they're just annoying they hit really fast so if you get a couple of them on you uh, yeah, it can deal you pretty decent damage. And the fastest way to travel in the Swamp of Sorrows is uh, by cannon. So I just got launched into a tree. Thankfully I had a flaming parachute to save me. And finishing up these quests over on this side of Swamp. My favorite quest chain for Horn Alliance with the Swamp of Sorrows is the Battle for Stoneard. And it's amazing. It, it gives you a sense of scale. It's the, like one of the first battles that it actually happens between the Horde and Alliance when you're leveling. It's very it's very neat. You have the Marsh Tide Watch, which is the Alliance Keep, and you have Stoneard. And in, the, in between, there's just this massive battle going on with different phasing. So you'll be doing quests for either faction. You know, you kill this many people, you collect these things, you sabotage these peons that are trying to build stuff, so like, like barricades and things like that. And after you turn the quest in, the, the battlefield will phase, everything will change, and you can see that the firepower on each side is getting bigger. You know, the Alliance are getting their knights and the horses, and, you know, Stoneard, they bring back their orcs, and they're sending out the ogres, the, the big heavy guys with the warlocks. And you have to just keep doing that. Uh, if you're on the Horde side, the actual quest chain goes a lot more in depth, but on the Alliance, it's just basically kill quests, because, uh, yeah, you basically take over Swamp of Sorrows. So for my actual level 55 ding, I was doing it during these quests, so you can see the actual scale of the battle. This is in the second phase of the fight, so the Alliance Knights are out and the Horde Ogres are out, with the Mage summoning in more troops, and on the Horde side, the Warlocks are summoning in more troops. So I'm trying to put these flags on the deceased bodies. Um, I didn't read the quest text, but only one can assume that it lets them know at the end of the fight that that's actually a body from their team. And I think whenever this character is all said and done, once he hits level 85, I'll be making one more character this expansion, and just to read the quest text, not a speedrun, nothing I have to actually show, 
you guys or show anyone. I may record, I may not, but just to get the sense of what's going on in this game. And there we go, level 55 in the Swamp of Sorrows doing a really amazing quest chain. Rightfully so. Good job. And just trying to figure out where I'm going to put my new talent. If you want to know my spec, it's actually in the description box below, so don't hesitate on looking at that if you're interested, as well as the leveling guide I'm using will be there, so it, it's the most bang for your buck, it's probably the best guide for the money, uh, so you can check that out in the description box below as well. And uh, let's start getting into some of these viewer questions, we only have a few minutes to talk about these because I don't want to go over the 15 minute mark, uh, so let's get right into it. The first question comes from Eagle Shot Leet. And he asked if I can do the turret defense quest as Horde and show that as well. Um, the quest is the exact same thing. Uh, he's talking about the Badlands and all the quests there are basically neutral quests until you split off after uh, Fuse Light, the quest hub there. The first one with the goblins. Uh, all those quests are the same so you're not missing out. So if you want to go do that turret defense uh, little mini game thing, uh, you can do so there, Horde and Alliance. But, but good question. Thorntread64 states that I was mistaken when I said Sargeras in the video and Big C and Hangus and all those guys are on Spirestone. And yes, I knew that, but I made a mistake in my commentating when I upload the video. Um, but I'm still thinking about it. It's not for sure just yet, but if you guys really want me to switch over there so I can maybe do some things with them, uh, you know, leave in the description box below and I'll read it. So let me know, guys. I'm interested in what you guys think. Mr. RJ B69 asks, um, so we voted on the Elemental Shaman leveling series. Why the switch now? Um, well, I wanted to give it a shot, and I enjoy it so much that I might stick with it for a little while, but I am intending to go back Elemental uh, because I do like it a little bit more. They're a little bit more scarce, uh, but just to switch things up a bit, I am level 55 right now doing the same thing over and over and over again. So to actually make that switch to another DPS class in mid-leveling will actually make it a lot more fun for me, and I'm actually enjoying it a lot more uh, at this given time. I'm killing mobs probably three times faster as well, so that's increasing my leveling speed by a lot. So that's why the switch. Ninja Samo asks, I want to see your alts. Uh, well, I did make a alts video. Uh, it was one of my other ones that I did uh, a couple days ago. So if you haven't already seen that, and if you want to know a little bit about my history and where I'm from, uh, you can do so by clicking the annotation on this screen. If I'm, if it's there, if it's not there, then you can go to the TGN channel and find it there, or my main channel, and it will be there. I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I miss some mid uh, annotations. Uh, but you know what? It might be in the description box below. But just do some looking and you'll find it there, Ninja. So that's all the time I have uh, for questions today. I know I only got a few of them, but if you have any questions for me, contact me at sean at tgn.tv or by private message on my main channel at youtube.com slash deadly slob or leave a comment in the description box below. For this particular video, all questions were covered via comments. So uh, maybe next time I'll do some with uh, private messages or next time I'll do some in-game or something like that so we'll let you know or you'll have to just wait and see so keep those questions up and uh, if you don't get featured on this video or at the end of a video I probably did get back to you at some way or another with the same question that I just said here if that made any sense but anyway guys I'll see you next video we'll be hitting the Outlands next man that's been crazy I can't believe we've already got this far uh, but we will finish this series up guys I guarantee it the next video should be a PvP video, so for all you guys that are big fans of my Let's Learn How to PvP if my Hunter, uh, it will be happening soon. I have a plan for uh, some high killing blows and a lot of fun, so we'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Dilly Slav with TGN.TV, and thanks for watching.